All right, so hi, John. Uh, what would you recommend for someone uh, wanting to transition from a uh, non-IT career to pursuing a position in cybersecurity, new degree, or new certifications, or both? Um, so when you're transitioning, uh, first of all, check out the description for a link to my ebook on my website. It's on my Getting Started page. Um, that will give you a roadmap of things that you need to learn or is the skills, the certifications, all that stuff. Uh, a degree is not a requirement to get into cybersecurity or IT, right? A lot of people don't have degrees that are trying to get into the field. Does it help? It does help and it will help you later because you know, there's certain companies that aren't going to look at you or that will um, limit your progression if you don't have a degree. You know, wh whether you agree with that or not, it, it really doesn't matter because that's just how it is, right? Um, and, uh, you know, I, and I say that because I hear a lot of people saying, you know, no degree, no degree, no degree. There's caveats to that, that statement. Um, and a lot of people that are really pumping the no, no degree, uh, statement, you know, they, they don't include those caveats, which is unfortunate. So I, I try to give you the full picture, but, um, certifications are really important, right? Certifications are what a lot of employers use to evaluate candidates against each other because they are a lot of times an equal playing ground, right? Because degrees can be super expensive. It's not always an equal playing ground to get a degree versus not, for sure. But certifications, I mean, you know, a couple hundred dollars for a certification, $300, $400, you know, a lot of people can get to that point. So it is relatively equal. Um, so you're going to have to get certifications one way or another. It's a great way to stand out from other people that are in the similar situation as you, especially early on. And it gives you some initial information and knowledge that you're going to need going into your career. So in an ideal world, both, but if you were just going to pick one, um, especially, you know, initially, uh, certifications are going to be really valuable. So, you know, that doesn't mean you have to go crazy and get 50,000 certifications, right? Or a certification every month or something like that. That's, you know, not. But um, you should definitely look at some certifications. Um, but again, check out the, the roadmap that I have in my ebook. I talked a lot about, you know, the different type, uh, types of degree programs and educational institutions, the different training platforms, the different certifications and skills that you should look at. And, you know, I give you a roadmap. Uh, I, I lay it out what you should be learning. And you can go through that more aggressively than I have it laid out because I give you time frames, you know, of learning it. But, you know, I think the, the roadmap that I provide is pretty reasonable as far as how it's laid out. And if you learn all that stuff, you know, you're, you're going to be ready to go for sure.